Yo guys, what's going on? I made a video a couple days ago about Anna Waifu's uh, video, Why Casuals Are Ruining Gaming, and uh, we have a sequel, Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. So, uh, let's go. Well, kiddos, it seems like Ruffled Feathers speaking the truth once again with my recent video ranting about casuals are ruining the gaming industry, because apparently casuals are the reason video games even exist. Pretty much everybody was a casual gamer back in the day because professional gaming wasn't a real thing. You couldn't go on YouTube and upload videos of you being good at a game. Everybody just played for fun. There was no slapping TTV in your name and sweating your nuts off in a uh, Fortnite lobby in the hopes that fucking Ninja would notice you. Why he's so great? <laughs> because the fucking youth of society. <laughs> You shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! Yes, that's an actual argument these people use. I am aware YouTubers have made response videos about this subject, and while you're free to make response videos, you are not free from my wrath. These videos are so stupid, full of straw mans, misunderstanding points, and overall just trying to add on to what I said to make me look bad in some way. Like, there's this one response video by this idiot named Krillix, which is the most hilarious video I've ever seen. I'm not gonna go over it, but I will give you some sticky notes about what he said, and I might show some clips, maybe? I also know this guy named B Batikanta Bakuga. His name is not stupid just because you cannot pronounce it. Look, say what you want about my channel, but at least my name is easy to say. Anna Waifu, bam, rolls off the tongue. I can't pronounce that. This is like one of the most baffling, you know, responses I've ever seen to a video that I've ever made. Like, I could understand some hate to the Resident Evil 4 video, but this? Like, guys, why are you taking this video so seriously? It's clearly like an emotional opinion piece. But you so apparently if you say something emotionally, you just can't be criticized for it. I can just go up to somebody and say, hey, you're a fucking idiot. And then when he starts replying to me, I'll be like, oh no, I was just getting emotional, bro. And then he pulls out his double barrel sh**. Guys are treating it like it's an analysis or something, but whatever, let's get into it. Da -da. So I think the first thing I want to mention is how these so-called not casuals or casuals get angry when I say that casuals care about video games being movies. And their argument is just, well it doesn't matter, they have fun, so why does it matter? Basically the argument is, shut off your brain and enjoy it. If you have to tell me that I have to shut off my brain or just enjoy something without thinking deeper or any thought at all, then you just admitted that what you're talking about is going to be trash. If you care about story in a video game, then you care about games being like movies. If you enjoy cutscenes in a video game to add a bit of story context, you just want it to be like a movie, bro. You want it to be like the fucking Avengers. Then just watch a movie or play games to play them. Like, not watch them as movies. I don't understand why the concept is you play a video game and you don't watch them is so hard to grasp for casuals. And what's hilarious is that these people don't even argue against their point. Their whole argument is to shut up and let us enjoy things. Stop criticizing us for enjoying shitty games. Just shut up and enjoy The Last of Us Part 2. Another thing they call me out for is loving Synthetic Man, like me enjoying Synthetic Man discredits me or some shit. Liking the Synthetic Man should be a crime. You should be thrown in jail for liking that guy's videos. Like, whatever. Yeah, he calls you guys out multiple times and it's getting you angry. Casuals ruin gaming because they buy the same shit over and over and they don't care about when politics are shoved in their faces. And they don't care about the quality of video games. If you're a casual gamer and you don't fit into these categories, good for you. You're an exception. But <laughs> But that's not the majority. Hardcore gamers aren't buying movie games. Casuals are. And if they are buying these games and they're not a hardcore gamer. The act man sold his soul for 10 cents and praises whatever the mainstream is praising. No dude, he sold it for 11 cents. Get your shit straight. No, but how exactly did the act man sell out? Because he still shits on bad games. Jim Sterling does the same thing except he interjects left wing politics into his videos. Jim Sterling has the intelligence of a summer ant. Yes, casuals are mostly left-leaning or centrist. When you look at a game award show and you- Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Once again, you're just pulling these, like, you're pulling this out of your ass. See a fat green-haired bitch up in the microphone? You don't think they're casuals or left-leaning? People like that usually don't even play video games. They're too busy on their shit-stained iPhone 2S typing a comment about how they're such a great person on Twitter. I also didn't say all casuals are left-leaning. Casuals just don't care about the product. It's not that hard to understand. Bottom line is that you didn't like what I had to say and you dislike Balm because of that. Because instead of wanting to make gaming better, you casuals choose to blame everyone 
someone else for gaming going downhill instead of taking responsibility and admitting you're wrong. Casual gamer. Definition. People who don't play video games as much as other people. No shit. It's not that hard to understand. If you're one of those people who were in my comments that were like, Oh, I played this and I played that and that. I'm a casual gamer. No, you're not. If there's people who play thousands of games and you care about what the medium is, then you're not a casual. You're just brainwashed to think gaming is better than it's always been, and it's not. Like, if you say The Last of Us is one of the greatest games ever made, then you're casual. I'm sorry, I'm just saying that out right now. No one who is a hardcore gamer thinks that The Last of Us, or Forspoken, or God of War Ragnarok, or Uncharted 4 think they're great games because of the gameplay. No. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, I've never played Last of Us. I already know somebody's like got their pitchfork out and are ready to like skewer my fucking head because I said that, but like whatever. Don't argue. What they offer is just a story, then fucking watch a movie. Why do you care about a story so much? You know, why do you care so much about what other people enjoy in video games? And you casuals want super realistic graphics. Why? And there's people saying, well, I don't care about graphics. <laughs> like, I'm talking about casuals who do, and that's a lot of them, because they won't go back and they play old games. If you recommend an old game to them, they won't do it. Proof? I've been around gaming for 15 years now, and I'll explain this later in the video. And for people who say that, oh, they just want movie games because that's how you get immersed in the world. No. Let me t let me give you an example of a game called Borderlands. Yes, I'm going to bring up Borderlands a lot in videos because that game is so freaking amazing. Borderlands 2 specifically. I get immersed in the world and I don't need cutscene bombarded in my face every fucking second of the game. That's such a stupid argument to make that's actually pretty incredible. You don't need movie, you know, cutscenes or whatever to get immersed in a world. There and who said casuals care about that in the first place? Half the casuals I know get fried and play Doom, and they're not thinking about no story. But as a person who was a casual gamer and have friends that are casual gamers, we don't like when games play like movies. Like, dude, I'd rather do squats on my TV antenna than play a Telltale game, if I'm honest. I mean, that doesn't mean it's a bad game, it's just not for me. The reason why Borderlands 2 has such an immersive world is because of the characters, because of the world itself, about how it looks, how it plays. There's so much about it that is so good that it gets you immersed. I never felt anything playing The Last of Us Part 2, or Uncharted, or, you know, Forspoken. I was never immersed in those worlds because of so shit. And it was because of the cutscenes that it got me, you know, not immersed. Again, just watch a movie. Yes, there are games out there like The Last Guardian and Borderlands that have great graphics, but that's not why I play them. Because that's another thing. Was that I was saying that casuals care about graphics, which they do. And that people are like, well, they, they, maybe they just care about graphics because they want the game to look- It's like, why do you care about the game looking good? Why does that matter? It should be the gameplay that gets you immersed in the game, not the graphics. Maybe a hot take. I think the, the gameplay is more important, but why can't the game have both? Why do you care? Like, I don't get it. If you want a game to look good, fine. But that shouldn't be the only reason why you play the game is because the graphics look amazing or high re highly realistic. Like, who cares? Watch a movie or an anime if you care about story and graphics. My god, why do you care? If Dude, she is bathing in salt right now. For the people who that tell me to shut up and just let these people enjoy stuff, you guys would be more entertained staring at a fucking wall. These people don't have arguments. These people like Brother Near or Krillix who call me a bitch and a retard, or a right-wing crazy psychopath that thinks there's politics and everything, and think that their arguments, you know, are valid. The problem with these videos is that they never give criticism. They either just say straw mans or exaggerate what I say to make me sound worse than I am. Yeah. Well, I'm criticizing you in this video, so you better be thankful for it. Yes, casuals do care about graphics acrylics because they won't go back and play old games. It's obvious that modern gaming has gone to shit that you wouldn't admit it because, again, it would require you to actually take responsibility and realize you're the problem, and I'm not the schizo for thinking there's politics in video games. There's always politics in video games. Yeah, sure, but who said the casuals are even okay with the politics in video games? I have friends that if they seen politics in a video game, they would immediately shut that shit off. Nobody buying the products. Oh, she gonna try to use the synthetic man? Ah, uh, yeah, we're skipping this. I think I want to take advice from someone like Brother Nier, who constantly was proven to drag people into drama when they didn't need to be, and is overall a fucking slimy person. And also uses that funny, funny Ahiko face as an avatar in his podcast, and is an idiot when it comes to arena shooters. These people are in a hive mind that repeat the same stuff over and over because they're mad that someone with 500 subs had a different opinion from them. Casual. Aren't you getting upset about a person who probably has zero subs, a casual gamer, and what they have to say?
So let's move on to the people who responded to me. Vincent Martin, Krillix, and Brother Nier. These people are so stupid, it's actually incredible. Their videos just repeat the same shit over and over. Oh, you're getting too emotional. You're a retard. You actually know what gaming is like. Guys, you'll start the industry. First of all, yeah, they absolutely did start the industry because without casual players, I mean, how would have gaming even started? You can't start off as a hardcore player. What, Pokemon's gonna come out? Now I'm just already a fucking Pokemon master before I even play the game. Okay, come on, the last one is dumb. No people. People who ran the gaming industry cared about video games, not casuals. Casuals weren't even a thing back then. And yeah, I'm gonna get emotional my favorite medium went down to the shitter. The worst part I heard was when Vincent said, you shouldn't hate the player, hate game. Well, who do you think buys these games to get them made? Vincent Martin, I'm gonna focus on you because ironically, I hate your video the most. You focus on a YouTuber who shadowed me for five seconds, and then your entire video was just you misunderstanding my points. First, people who make response videos to you aren't misunderstanding your point, we just think the point is really fucking stupid. Well, you don't care about video games. I can tell you don't care about video games. Tell me to calm down when people keep buying the same shit over and over with- Half the people I see doing that are not casual gamers, it's the hardcore fans of, let's say, Call of Duty that'll buy the game despite knowing it's a steaming pile of monkey shit. And they know it's going to be bad? Like, fuck you. I am gonna get emotional. The reason I use Manga Common's video for that example of nostalgia eaters is that it proves that dumbasses like Manga Common will make a 20 minute video calling a game bad, and then the same video he's gonna buy anyway. You don't think that's a problem? <laughs> see, this is something that Vince and the others won't understand. Do you have to assault my fucking eardrums like that? Man, is I care about video games. To everyone who watched the original video, I care about video games. No shit. To y'all, video games is a pastime. To you, it's just a hobby. You know, you don't care about it. You guys won't understand how great we had it in the early 2000s. You don't actually care about video games, because if you did, you would know how great it was back then. Yes, in the early 2000s, we did get bullied for playing video games. Think about all the movies or television shows where they made gamers look like these nerds who live in their parents' basements and don't care about themselves. Where do you think the nerd stereotype came from? I'm just gonna say it right here and now. To all you who respond to my video, you're a fucking idiot. If you criticize me, it automatically means you're an idiot. You guys can keep your heads buried in the dirt thinking that I'm wrong even though you can see the downfall of gaming right in front of your eyes, and you refuse to accept the truth. Yes, The Last of Us Part 2 and Forspoken failed because they focused on the political messages more than the game itself, but- Well, I don't know about The Last of Us 2 because I've never played it, but Forspoken ran at like, 5 frames. No dude, it ran at 30 yeah, 30 frames a fucking hour maybe. No, there's no politics in gaming, even though a synthetic man literally gave proof that they put political stuff in video games for profits. I also never said all casuals. If you're a casual gamer but you don't care about graphics and you like playing good games, good for you. You're not a class casual. Congratulations. <laughs> but you're not the majority. My proof of this is that I've been around gaming culture for almost 15 years now. I've been playing video games since I was- Shit, that's some pretty bulletproof uh, truth there. Like, that's like saying on God in like a trial. Like, well, on, he said on God. I mean, he obviously didn't do it. Six years old. And since then, I've been into gaming for 15 years. I think I know a thing or two about game, how gaming works. I also hate how Krillix and Brother Nier have this smugness in their voice. Like, they just sound so smug, like they know everything. Thing. Well, calling me retarded and a bitch is not an argument. You can actually tell I won the argument when they stooped to name calling. I doubt they even watched the entire video till they responded to it. I'm not gonna go over comments because it's pointless and there's too many retards to respond to, so I guess this is where I, I do my conclusion statement. Look, I understand that people had issues with a video, and I'm not saying for instance that it's perfect, but it was clearly an emotional piece. Yes, these are my opinions and my experiences. Like, the problem is you guys are taking the video too seriously. Like, this wasn't an analysis about the gaming industry. Whatever. They're gonna hate this video and take it out of context anyway. I'm d You're goddamn right.